Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see test deliverables. Test deliverables are the test artifacts which are given to the stakeholders of a software project during the software development life cycle. Check out our video on software development life cycle and its phases. A software project which follows SDLC undergoes the different phases before delivering to the customer. In this process, there will be some deliverables in every phase. Some of the deliverables are provided before the testing phase commences and some are provided during the testing phase and rest after the testing phase is completed. List of the test deliverables are test strategy, test plan, effort estimation report, test scenarios, test cases or test scripts, test data, requirement traceability matrix, defect report or bug report, test execution report, metrics, test summary report, test incident report, test closure report, installation guide, test status report. Let's see all the mentioned deliverables one by one in detail. Test strategy. Test strategy is a high level document and usually developed by project manager. It is a document which captures the approach on how we go about testing the product and achieve the goals. It is normally derived from the business requirement specification documents like test plan are prepared by keeping this document as base. Even though testing differs between organizations, Almost all the software development organizations follow test strategy document to achieve their goals and to follow the best practice. Usually, test team starts writing the detailed test plan and continue further phases of testing once the test strategy is ready. In agile world, some of the companies are not spending time on test plan preparation due to the minimal time for each release but they maintain test strategy document. Maintaining this document for the entire project leads to mitigate the unforeseen risks. This is one of the important documents in test deliverables. Like other test deliverables, test team shares this with the stakeholders for better understanding about the scope of the project test approaches and other important aspects such as what tools we use like automation tools, test management tools, what would be test deliverables, test metrics, roles and responsibilities and also we specify risk analysis and mitigation plan. Test plan. Test plan document is a document which contains the plan for all the testing activities to be done to deliver a quality product. Test plan document is derived from the product description, SRS or use case documents for all future activities of the project. It is usually prepared by the test lead or test manager. And the focus of the document is to describe what to test what not to test, how to test, when to test, and who will do what test. Also, it includes the environment and tools needed, resource allocation, test technique to be followed, risks, and contingent plan. Effort Estimation Report Effort Estimation Report deal with the estimated effort and actual effort on each task. Before a sprint starts, you need to enter the original estimates of your task. And as you work on the tasks during the sprint, 
you may need to adjust the remaining estimates as necessary. Test scenarios. Test scenario gives the idea of what we have to test. Test scenario is like a high level test case. Test cases or scripts. Test cases are the set of positive and negative executable steps of a test scenario which has a set of preconditions, test data, expected result, post conditions and actual results. Test scripts are the scripts which we create based on manual test cases for automating the test cases. Test data. Test data plays crucial role while doing the actual testing. It contains both positive and negative data to do both positive and negative testing. We do place all the test data in database or XLS or CSV files or any other format and uses that while doing testing. Most of the companies get the real-time historical data from client and use it while testing. Requirement Traceability Matrix Requirement Traceability Matrix is used to trace the requirements to the tests that are needed to verify whether the requirements are fulfilled. Earlier we have made a video on Requirement Traceability Matrix. In that we have explained it in detail. Defect Report or Bug Report The purpose of using Defect Report Template or Bug Report Template is to convey the detailed information about the bug to the developers. It allows developers to replicate the bug easily. Test Execution Report Test Execution Report helps to track how many test cases are executed against planned and how many test cases are passed or failed against executed test cases. Metrics Software test metrics is to monitor and control process and product. It helps to drive the project towards our planned goals without deviation. Earlier we have made a video on test metrics. In that we have explained it in detail. Test summary report. A document that formally summarizes the testing activities and final test results. It is prepared at the end of a testing project. Test incident report. The purpose of the test incident report is to document abnormal events that occurred during different test phases. Here we track the unplanned interruptions which needs to be reviewed. Test closure report. Test closure report is the note prepared before test team formally completes the testing process. This note contains the total number of test cases total number of test cases executed, total number of defects found, total number of defects fixed, total number of bugs not fixed, total number of bugs rejected, etc. Installation or configuration guide. Documents will guide you to install a software. Test status report. The purpose of a test status report is to track the process of the ongoing work of the project. It helps to review the current status and allows test leads to maintain the pace of the project progress without any deviation based on the task planned. This is all about test deliverables. Thanks friends. If you have any queries, please comment below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button. I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.